Yeah, you're going to need some coffee. Are you serious? You're going to need some serious coffee. Are you serious coffee? Uh, because we're in the end times. Um, some breaking news, of course. You guys know what Chucky Schumer did, and he stood up on the floor of the U.S. Senate calling for the removal of Benjamin Netanyahu as prime minister of Israel and calling for the government of Netanyahu to be uh, to be taken apart, basically, a call for a new election, call for an immediate ceasefire, basically. And if not, he, he was recommending disarming Israel. This is crazy. Let me tell you all about that and Netanyahu's response um, and show you uh, what's going on right now on the world stage. First of all, let's put a shout out right now, if we could, for www.pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. Dot com. If you keep your money in a bank account, you should listen up. Your savings could be at risk. The banking system is once again under extreme stress. And after last year's banking crisis, the dangers are clearer than ever. Car loans are defaulting. Credit card debt is ballooning. Commercial real estate is on the brink of collapse. And these are, aren't just red flags. They're the sounds of a Financial ticking time bomb. The Great Reset is an agenda, of course, that Klaus Schwab wants everyone to be afraid of or, excuse me, embrace. But there is a safe and easy way to protect your financial future. It's gold. Gold. A biblical currency. Uh, Gold is outside the government's reach and safe from economic policies that jeopardize your wealth. Gold allows you to lock in today's values in the face of tomorrow's uncertainty. Yes, don't wait for the next headline. Don't wait for the next bank crash. Don't wait for the stock market to to stumble. Don't wait on another bank run. Inaction could be catastrophic. Go to Noble Gold Investment today to help safeguard your tomorrow. Just go simply to www.pastorpaulgold.com. Or pick up the phone and call them at 877-646-5347. They're giving away this one quarter of an ounce gold standard coin. One quarter of an ounce. Are you serious? They'll give it to you for free if you roll over that 401k or set up a gold or silver IRA. If you qualify, they'll give it to you. That's amazing because that coin's worth about $500. They'll give that to you just to show you the importance it is to secure your financial future. All right. Now, we've got a lot to talk about, but let's go straight to the uh, to the to the heart of the matter, uh, and, and that is very simply that uh, this war in the Middle East now has taken on apocalyptic, literally apocalyptic concerns, and you might want to get your ticket for the apocalyptic signs. Get your ticket for the webinar. You can go to my website at paulbakeleyprophecy.com. You'll see a banner right across the page. Click on that banner. It'll take you right there. Click it. Takes you to the ticket. Get it ordered because we're only four days away. Four days away. And if you say, Pastor, I'm not too good. I want to get the link. Uh, Pick up the phone and call the number 765-414-2230. Just call our office at 765-414-2230. Tell them you want a ticket to the webinar, Apocalyptic Signs. You want a ticket for the webinar that's going to be this Friday, May 20, March 22nd. This Friday, March 22nd, it starts at 6 o'clock Friday evening. So pick up the phone and call 765-414-2230 or go to paulbegleyprophecy.com and get your ticket today. All right, here's what's going on. Benjamin and Yahoo. Uh, he didn't like what Chucky e. Schumer said. And uh, the headline, Netanyahu calls CNN, tells CNN that Schumer's call for an Israel election was totally inappropriate. Well, uh, I bet you he had a few other choice words on the side. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin and Yahoo said yesterday that the comments from the U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chucky Schumer calling for a new election in Israel was just totally inappropriate. It's election interference, Chucky. Uh, but But the U.S. does it a lot. 
the United States interferes with everybody's election, even our own. In a Senate speech that upended longstanding U.S. policy, Schumer, who's the highest-ranking Jewish American and that's in the U.S. government and normally a staunch supporter of Israel, called for Netanyahu, called him a major obstacle to peace. But in his interview with CNN, Dana Bash, on State of the Union, Benjamin Netanyahu hit back. He said, I think what he said is totally inappropriate. It's inappropriate to go to a sister democracy and try to replace the elected leadership there, Netanyahu told CNN. That's something the Israeli public does on its own. We're not a banana republic. Uh, Instead, efforts should be focused on bringing down Hamas and their tyranny, said Netanyahu. When pressed to comment on whether he would commit to new elections when the war winds down, Netanyahu said, look, that's something for the Israeli public to decide, and added that it was ridiculous to call and to talk about it while there's a war going on. The humanitarian crisis impacting Palestinian civilians in Gaza has grown increasingly dire as the Israeli war against Hamas continues. It's a situation that has increased pressure on the Democratic Party officials, including President Joe Biden, to take a harder line against Israel. But uh, the U.S. yet to see credible Rafa plan, they say. CNN anchor then pressed Netanyahu about humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Speaking on a potential hostage deal with Hamas, Netanyahu told CNN, Israel will keep trying to secure a deal that would see the release of 100 hostages in exchange for a six-week pause in the fighting. However, he said, the militant group's outlandish demands were making negotiations more difficult. Quote, time will tell. But Hamas's outlandish demands, Netanyahu said, make the deal a lot more difficult. But we're going to keep on trying because we want those hostages back. Quote, we understand also that the one thing that gets Hamas to give them, the one thing that gets Hamas to give up the hostages, Netanyahu said, is the continued military pressure that we are applying today. Quote, so we will continue military pressure, and we're going to continue to try to get those hostages out. Efforts on, are ongoing on reaching a truce. Mossad's director, David Barnea, is expected to travel uh, to Doha for further talks next week. Hamas's latest proposal calls for Israel to release 700 and 1,000 Palestinian prisoners in exchange for Hamas releasing an Israeli woman, including some IDF soldiers and the children and the elderly and the wounded and the sick hostages. Uh, A diplomatic source familiar with the discussions told CNN, the proposal envisions that a permanent ceasefire would be agreed upon after the initial exchange of hostages and prisoners, as well as a deadline for an Israeli withdrawal. So in other words, Hamas is saying, if we'll give you the sick, the the women, the children, the elderly, the wounded, and the sick, we're not giving you the men, though. We'll give you all them. You give us 1,700 Palestinian prisoners, And you pull out of Gaza, and we end the war, leaving Hamas still in control of the Gaza Strip. I can tell you right now, that's not going to happen, guys. It's just not. You can't go across the border into a nation and slaughter 1,200 of their citizens and drag 250 others away, murder and butcher and burn babies and rape women You are not going to do that and then get to have your own state. If you think that uh, Israel is going to accept that, you're crazy, okay? And neither would we as U.S. citizens. We would not 
if Mexico did that to us or Canada did that to us, there's no possible way that we would reward them like that. You can't expect Netanyahu to do that. And for Chucky Schumer, for Chucky Schumer to get in the middle of this and run his mouth uh, is um, just another distraction, just another cog in the wheel, uh, just another spoke in the wheel. And we just don't need it, okay? We we just don't need it. We need prayer, and we need strong leadership, and we need uh, Hamas to be eliminated and peace to come back to the region. I've been there 11 times. I want to go back at 12. But we're still waiting. We were supposed to also do a cruise uh, this this sept- coming this September, um, in which we were going to take people on a missionary journey of Apostle Paul, we were going to start in Rome and 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 go take the ship across around the Mediterranean, stop in Greece and stop in Turkey, stop in Crete, and and uh, and and all the pl- and then work our way to the, into the Mediterranean to Israel. We were going to spend a couple days in Israel before uh, going back to Rome to finish that that tour. But that has been canceled. Uh, That has been postponed for one year. So we're looking to go sometime in the fall of 2025. We won't be going to the Holy Land with a tour this year either. So um, just got to pray for peace. Um. I mean, I, I, if I go to the Holy Land, it, I'll go alone or I'll go me and Heidi and just to film there without a tour. I'm not taking people, being responsible for people during a war, but I'm not even sure I'll do that. It's just that's the situation. I'm waiting on God. I'm waiting on God. This webinar, though, will help you understand just how important the signs in the heavens, the, the solar eclipse the asteroid Apophis, Planet X, the wars and rumors of wars, the, um, the, the southern border, uh, Doug Hagman, incredible presentation. I mean, all of this is showing us that Jesus Christ is coming soon. And I just thank God that there's angels, that God has sent guardian angels to all of us who love the Lord. This song is on my album also called The Journey, just like There Ain't No Grave. So was this one, Angels Among Us. I was walking home from school on a cold and winter day. Took a shortcut through the woods and I lost my way. It was getting late and I was scared and alone. Then a kind old man took me by the hand And he led me home Mama couldn't see him But she was standing there I knew in my heart He was an answer to my prayer Oh, I believe there are angels among us down to us from somewhere up above they come to you in our darkest hours show us how to live they teach us how to give to guide us with the light of love times had me down on my knees there's always been someone to come and comfort me a kind word from a stranger to lend a helping hand a phone call from a friend just to say I understand end of the road someone led the way would 
just a single ray of hope. I believe there are angels among us, sent down to us from somewhere up above. They come to you in your darkest hours. They show us how to live. They'll teach us how to give and guide us with the light of love. They wear so many faces, show up in the strangest places, grace us with their mercy in our time of need. among us. I believe there are angels among us. Oh, I believe there are angels among us. I believe there are I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Stay right here to this YouTube channel. We'll be back.